to isolate the quadriceps. We can do various movement patterns that are fully integrated and not just have to isolate. Now when we think of lunges or we think of squats, we often think of the glute. To get the glute loaded, what we need to do is have the glute become flexed in the sagittal plane, adducted in the frontal plane, and internally rotated in the transverse plane. So when we do a movement such as this, you're going to see that the glute will become fully loaded. But if we take the glute out of it, and we go into, instead of hip flexion, we go into hip extension, externally rotate, and abduct the hip, the glute is not fully recruited. In fact, it's minimally recruited. Arms overhead, and we can use something like a true stretch or any type of uh, selectorized equipment, something that's stable, and just go into a mini squat. Now you're isolating the quad, but you're still having the foot and the glute be there as friends of the quad to help protect it. So in this case, we can do it into the sagittal plane, we get a little bit more transverse, or we can go into a little bit more frontal, and it's going to work all three parts, the uh, intermedius, the vastus media, medialis, lateralis, and of course the intermedius underneath the rectus uh, would be working as well. So in this case, we can isolate the quad, but yet have it in an integrated manner. To have the quad become isolated, we can't do that in game. In fact, the quads are never going to be isolated in game. We isolate them when we do knee extension. But I've never seen anybody walk around in a manner such as this. What the quad is actually going to do is going to help decelerate knee flexion. It's going to help decelerate internal rotation of the knee. It's also going to help decelerate external rotation of the knee during the various gait phases. But if we want to have an isolated response to the quad, but yet integrated with the entire system, think of it that you want to have the hip not travel as far past the foot. So when the hip does not go into as much extension, you get more quad reaction. You're going to have an integrated but yet isolated approach to how the quads will function. The more that the hip travels, or the faster that the hip travels past the foot, that's when we see a little less quad and more glute. So if we want to isolate the quad, but yet have it integrated with the entire chain, we did this with the hamstrings before, but notice as we go into the single leg low row and come up, we're still getting hamstring, but now we're isolating the quad in this respect because the hip is not moving past the foot. So to have the quad integrated, we can do various reactions, various activities such as this. We can do various movements with a sand bell or a viper, a movement such as this, because the hip is not moving past the foot. So think of how much action of the glute you want. The glute is still working in this aspect, but we're getting more action of the quad when we don't have the hip go into extension.